I remember going to St. Mel's, uh, you won't remember St. Mel's of course, uh, when I was going to it, I used to sit on a bush on the halfway line for every match. Uh, it was a ditch and I was sitting on this particular bush, I'd say for 12 or 13 years, the bush was moved when AC Milan came to Atlanta to play. The goalkeeper, Mike uh, O'Brien, Mick O'Brien as we used to call him, uh, mad, Hatler, a goalkeeper, excellent goalkeeper, uh, fanatic for fitness. Uh, I don't know if any of you remember, you probably won't remember it, but uh, we went to Dundalk in the cup game uh, in Oriel Park and he climbed across the goal post. He went up the goal, up the post, across the bar, and he actually broke it three times and uh, during the game. Now at that time there were wooden goal posts, so he actually broke the cross bar three times and we lost the match 4-1, I think it was. <laughs> they were in Dublin playing a match. Now we would be going back into the uh, 1950s sometime, but uh, the usual thing was they got the chips and whatever they got. They didn't get much on you at that time, you know, for a meal. But one particular guy decided he was going to have a glass of milk. And at the following week at a club meeting, the whole meeting was taken up. There's three actual full caps pages on the meeting. And the whole, meet, whole thing was whether the club should pay for the glass of milk or the guy who got it had to pay for it. Three pages are all about this particular guy. And in the end, he had to pay for his glass of milk. But those are memories that I have from St. Bell's and they were good memories, you know.